What is up, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode. In this one, we're gonna do a bit of fabrication stuff. Um, I've decided I wanna try and make my own bash plates. So, I've got a couple ones that don't really fit anymore. So this is a factory, um, I think it's really sump plate or whatever it is. This one doesn't fit, so I've got a diff drop in. And the front's looking pretty uh, worse for wear. I've hacked it a fair bit and cut her up and it's just, a mess, so we'll um, yeah, give her a shot. At making our own now. The steel I'm going to be using for this is the steel I've had from that tray. So I've got some uh, three mil sheet steel, a big bit of it. Um, and I've got another on the same size as this. So hopefully, I don't know, we'll muck it up. Just try again. So I've been under the car a bit, making some measurements and stuff. So I'm just going to cut out a rectangle. So um, it's going to be 550 wide. So the wheels are on these sides here. Well, um, back here somewhere, sorry. Um, I'm going to make it 570 long. I think that's a bit long because um, I'm going to bend it. So I've cut it longer so I can always cut it shorter later to get it right. And then I'm going to have to do some sort of drop box thing for where the diff is because these are a clamshell diff and um, with a diff drop they sit really low and pretty weak so I'm going to try and make some sort of clamshell and I'll drill some holes or something in it so it's not holding water or mud probably put some I don't know I'll cut the I reckon if I make a funny capping I'll just cut the corners off it all and that'll probably do and then yeah we'll figure out how we go with that I've been doing a bit of research with other bash plates and other companies and stuff um, and a lot of them use spaces at the front here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, um, what even is it? There's a, a rear support at the back, um, which will bolt to, and then the front I'll space off. Um, there's another cross member or some support there, and then um, yeah, we'll give it a go. So I made a little bit of progress since we last spoke, I have, cut out our bash plate and I drilled in some holes so this is where the back cross member is and this is working towards the bull bar this end. So all I've done, put it around the right way, is on that cross member I found centre and there's a pretty much there's a dimple there with a hole that's pretty much centre. From there I measured to where the two most outer holes were on the outside edge, and if you see that these are elongated, it's because I mucked them up about three mil out, so I just made them a bit longer and works fine. Um, next thing, I had to figure out where I need to cut the hole for the diff to sit down. I've been, I had it in there, screwed it up, played around with it a bit, cut it out of it. Um, I got a little bit of a dilemma, so, because I've got a diff drop in that, obviously, because I've cut a hole out of that, where the front diff drop bolts are, they're actually quite low in regards to where the radiator support are um, and I do have spaces to drop that down but I don't really want to do that so what I'm thinking is um, this front edge I think I'm just going to bend it up so bend up bend up and then come around again so make a zigzag so come if that's the bash plate come up and then across so have like a zigzag um, and I'm also going to fold these these edges in a little bit um, so I'm just going to square up some lines and make some measurements and um, yeah, I'm just going to score everything um, and then clamp it on the workbench and just belt it with a hammer with a rubber mallet and try and bend it. Um, so just bash this little lip onto it. Um, normally I wouldn't, like I've scored it and I've bashed it away from the score. Normally I wouldn't do it because I've got the welder and I'm able to put some slugs on it. You see there I've cut out for the diff drop. I've got this bend and these bolts here sit, um, they don't actually touch the plate, which is good. They sit about three mil um, off it, which is perfect. Um, now my only issue is in here. So I wanna use this hole in the back here to mount this. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is make some sort of space out of pipe um, to fill this in so I can put long bolts through it, but that's not too bad. 
Um, the other idea too was this, the guard that's going to go across this piece, um, its mounting holes are in the back. So the idea is to drill out larger holes on the top here. That, um, and then the other one goes on this lip like this. And then sandwiches the, also this plate up to that. So hopefully it'll be pretty strong. But um, three mil is probably definitely plenty for what I need to do. Um, and if I bend that, I've done pretty well. So yeah, pretty happy thus far. Made more progress, guys. So it's starting to actually look like a bash plate now. So I've bent up the sides on it around here. Um, I've put that Z bit in the front, which you've probably seen. Um, now I didn't really know what to do um, here for say. This was a bit of a mongrel to get because it was sort of bent to put on the car, bent to put on the car. Um, what I would have liked to have done is actually well the seam in there, but because I cut this all the way through, I sort of couldn't. Um, what I think I'm going to do is cut this back on an angle here, cut that forwards on a bit of an angle like that. Sort of make it look nice, I think, but that's the general shape of it. Um, so yeah, we'll cut it up, and then I think I'm just gonna put some you know 50 mil slug welds on all of these just to keep them strong. And then this one I'll probably put a full pass on um, because it's been as hinged the other way. Um, but from the back, it looks pretty good, <laughs> I must say. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, yeah, and I think 3mm should be heaps. It's pretty pretty sturdy stuff. My next thing now is I decided I want to cut this here a bit longer because I want this, this capping for the diff to be as low profile and as a low of an angle as possible. So at the moment this would be too steep and if something hits it, it's sort of going to be like a real big thud, whereas if it's a bit longer and shallow, it'd be more, a bit more graceful. So, so that's sort of the angle we're at, um, you know, I can keep bringing this back further and get it flatter, but then it's sort of defeating the purpose and losing a bit of strength. So I figured that's probably enough. Um, and I think that's the height that I want. So it's both the same angle front and back. All right guys, so I've cut out all of the, the other two sides and we're gonna tack them up. So it's not perfect. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack it up and then sit it, put it on the car, check that it actually fits, and then I'll cut the top flat for the plate. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's good. Um, looks pretty good, I'm pretty chuffed with it. Looks a bit high, but um, like a bit proud, but I guess it's just what the diff is, so. Finished up welding up that cap, um, and you would have seen me sort of jumping around side to side. I'm sort of trying to disperse the heat so I don't warp stuff because I'm really good at warping stuff with a welder because I forget. <laughs> so, yeah, finish that up. Um, a lot of spatter and stuff. Um, yeah, it's welded all the way around it, so should be pretty strong. And I'll probably weld the inside too, but we'll have a look at that in a sec. Actually, we'll have a look at that now. Let's see how bad that came up. So, plenty of penetration. Played around with the railway settings a bit and then got it right and started laying down some nice, nice welds. So, yeah, I'll just get the flat wheel and try and clean up all the spatter and all of the. I'm going to have to take the oxide off the whole sheet so I can paint it. Um, but I don't really want to grind the welds down because I want to try and keep them as strong as possible because that's going to cop a lot of crap that spot. So yeah, hopefully it's it's good. Guys, it is all painted up and welded up and finished. Um, going pretty good. I end up welding this edge the whole way along where it's been the same and then just put some, some tack welds in to keep it all nice and strong. Um, 
this edge here, if you can see it, I ended up, ended up warping it, um, which is not ideal when I was welding this. Um, so yeah, it's the other side's nice and straight, this side's just sort of to warp. Um, and it is touching, because it's bowing up, it's touching the diff on this front edge just a little bit. So I'm hoping that when I bolt it all together, it might just, I don't know, it'll probably rub, but we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, well, I haven't got bolts and I haven't cut those other little things yet, but that's what's to do next. So hopefully you guys will see it on the car. Hi guys, so the bash plate, well bash plate is in the car. I bought longer bolts, but they're not actually long enough. They just just reach, I'd like them a bit longer, make life easier um, because of that warped plate. Now, if I have some spaces out of some pipe, looks like it's about three mil. Um, I think it's pretty much enough heavy duty for what we're going to do, but if you can see in there, which I highly doubt it, um, got a bolt there and a bolt here, and the idea is I'm going to put those spacers over those bolts so it's clamping the spacer to the cross member, and that wire be nice and strong. Um, but yeah, so because that plate's all warped, all this is all a bit mucked up, and the diff actually just touches here, um, which is not ideal, but at the same time, that's fine. So, Alright guys, so we're moving on to the second bash plate. This is the one that covers the front of the stump, the front of the stump. Uh, so I've taken some measurements, I'm back on the whiteboard. So um, the width of it is going to be 500 across, and the length's going to be 400. Um, and as you can see, the first bend is at 140 mil. Uh, that's where the lap is, so it's going to lap over the one we just made. And then from there, it's going to go up in like a 30 or 40 degree angle, it's about 130, and then another bend, and then another 90 degree bend after that. So that's sort of where all the bends are going to be. That's the bit that goes up from the radio support. So it's that bit at the front there, it sort of comes down and goes under. Um, so that is what we're working on now. Just finished scoring up this new bash plate. One thing I noticed the other one was, I did all the, free, the cuts freehand, and they're a, bit, a little bit wavy, um, some of them. So I realized this time, I just grabbed a straight piece of timber. I didn't have any straight bits of steel lying around. I just used that to score all the edges and then use that even to score my bends um, and everything is straight as an arrow. So pretty chuffed with that. Um, yeah, something simple that you didn't, I didn't really think of. So that's a good tip if you guys are doing something similar and you haven't got a sheet bender and you're scoring it like I am. That's how we're going about it. So yeah, I'm just gonna start clamping up and bashing it into shape. So I uh, jumped on this a bit and bent her up and went to go test fit it. And you can probably guess I marked up my measurements. <laughs> so that 130 is supposed to be a 160. Um, so that middle bend, so it goes 140, then it's supposed to go 160, not 130. So I'm gonna scrap that and I gotta start again. All right guys, so that front bash plate is done. I've done it off camera. Um, I've painted it too, so we've gone with big reveal, drum roll please. Nice red, ignore the rubbish paint job. It's got one coat on it. And I don't think I'm gonna go too much more because it's probably all gonna get rubbed off. But that's how she turned out. Not too bad. I just put a couple of slug welds everywhere. Um, all the seams and whatnot. Try and keep her a bit sturdier. But yeah, don't mind the dodgy paint job because it all just gets scratched off. And I mucked up the holes a little bit, but and just reamed them out a little bit. All right, just put her in. Don't mind the, uh, the front bash plate off the bull bar missing. I still haven't put that in yet, but here's the actual one I put in. Nice red. Everything's pretty seamless. So you can see that lap just there. See how I wanted it. All pretty seamless. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So that is gonna wrap up this one guys for this episode. Apologies for the wind, it's a bit windy out here if you can't hear me too well. Um, 
Let me know what you guys think, or if you made your own batch plates and how they turned out. Um, I at some point want to put a recovery point in there, so I might probably just buy one of those and cut a hole for it. Pretty much all I'm going to have to do, I think. So uh, if any of you guys are wondering about that, that's what I'm going to do there. Um, yeah, otherwise, guys, thanks for all the support. God bless, and I'll see you next time.